leading off for Vista Ridge. Number two, Alex Brandemeyer. Catching number 19, Jake Wagner. Pitching number 17, Hank Howard. First base, number 24, Tiny Gunn. Right fielder, number four, Matthew Foley. Your designated hitter, number eight, Devin Gonzalez. Second baseman, number 10, Jackson Harrell. Number seven, Ethan Sanders. And number one, Caden Knappman. And now your starting lineup for your hometown, McNeil Mavericks. Leading off left fielder, number 12, Ramsey Simpson. Second baseman, number one, Jack Goins. Shortstop, number nine, Ryan Vosick. First baseman, number 24, Jackson Collins. Center fielder, number 18, Chris Wendisman. Third baseman, number 29, Caleb Correll. On the mound for your Mavericks, number 14, Brandon Morio. Right fielder, number 15, James Morio. And catching, number 16, Wyatt Newman. Your Mavericks are led by head coach Silver Aguirre and assistant coach Kyra Drum. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could stand and remove your caps from the plane of our national anthem. All right, hello folks. Welcome to tonight's second game in this two-game series here against Vista Ridge. McNeil hosting Vista Ridge tonight here at uh, McNeil Field. Beautiful night for baseball, probably high 70 degrees, not a whole lot of wind, clear skies. Mavs lost a close contest last night over at Vista Ridge by a score of 6-4. Hoping to uh, have a better outcome here tonight on the home turf. Good evening, partner. Good evening. Yeah, it's a beautiful evening for baseball. So, 75 and 
We're just about set, ready to go here. Getting ready to go. Starting defense for the Mavericks. First base, Jackson Collins. Second base, Jack Goins. Shortstop, Ryan Bosick. Caleb Correll at third base. Ramsey Simpson in left field. Chris Windesman in center. James Morio in right field. Wyatt Newman, the junior behind the plate tonight. And your starting pitcher, left-handed junior, Brandon Morio. Vista Ridge off to a 2-0 start in district play so far this season. Won their first game against Stony Point. And then, of course, uh, edged out the Mavs by two last night. And what a battle it was, you know, with uh, bases loaded a couple different times in the game for the Mavs. Uh, you know, couldn't... Uh, couldn't put any runs across the plate, but uh, on those situations. And, uh, yep, I think the final total on that was Mavs had 11 left on base last night. So, you know, a couple more of those come around, and uh, it's a whole different situation. So, all right, we're getting ready to go here. Leading off for Vista Ridge Rangers, the center fielder, number two, Alex Brindlemeyer. It's a pitch that Brindlemeyer fastball misses a little bit outside for ball one. Brindlemeyer will be followed by the catcher Jake Wagner and then the starting pitcher tonight for Vista Ridge, Hank Howard. Next pitch misses a little inside, ball two. The 2-0 pitch. Breaking balls in there called strike one. Pretty good sized crowd feeling this filling the stands on both sides here in this spring break here in Austin. Next pitch swung on. Lofts a fly ball in the shallow right center field. That's gonna get down for a leadoff base hit. Brindermeyer kind of got that ball in the hands there, but powered it enough to just drop it in where in some clear green out in the outfield. So leadoff single for Brindermeyer brings up the catcher, Jake Wagner. And Wagner looks at a first pitch fastball, misses a little high and out for ball one. Watch that lead over with uh, Brendan Meyer at first base. There you go. Mario does throw over there. It's like he, Brendan Meyer thought about moving, but then thought better, but ran back. Brendan Meyer was picked off one time last night. Yeah, the, the first th inning. That's right, back in the first inning. Mm -hmm. But has shown a, shown a propensity to want to get out there with a big lead and try to steal. And they get him this go. time. Let's see if they can pick and him off. Pickle. Oh, throw is high and offline. So he's going to be in at second. The ball gets and into the outfield. Third. Yep. And Brindemeyer finds his way from being picked off to standing on third base. Definitely a threat on the base pass there. And so now the Mavericks defense will be up on the grass trying to prevent the run from scoring. Next pitch breaking ball misses high and outside. So 2 0 the count to Wagner. Yeah. 2 0 pitch. Big swing and a miss by Wagner. Strike one. Two one fastball misses outside, so it'll be three balls and one strike to count now to Wagner. And 
Next pitch swung on, fouled off the front foot of the hitter Wagner. Looks like he's got a lot of protective gear on that front foot there, but somehow the ball seems to always find a way around it. We're in a spot where you're not quite covering. <laughs> so full count now to Wagner. Next pitch swung on. Another fly ball. Lofted into shallow right center field. Right fielder Morio is over into the gap and makes the grab. Deep enough to score, Brenda Meyer. But it is going to be deep enough for Brenda Meyer to tag and score. So a sacrifice fly for Wagner brings in the first run for Vista Ridge. That clears off the base pass and with one away brings up the number three hitter, the pitcher, Hank Howard. First pitch to Howard. Misses a little bit low and inside for ball. Number 17, Howard at the plate. Hank Howard. Uh, he is also Vista Ridge pitcher tonight. So. Next pitch, good breaking ball, but yeah, was. bounces in the dirt, gets away from the catcher, Newman. It'll be 2-0. Another breaking ball bounces and kicks away from Newman. So 3 0 count. Looks like the curveball's got a little bit more bite on it than normal tonight. So I'm sure Mori will make his adjustments here and find a way to leverage it. Next pitch, fastball. Either miss ball four or maybe graze the uh, arm of the hitter Howard there. Either way, he heads down to first base. <clears throat> That'll bring up the number four hitter, Tyne and Gunn, first baseman for the Vista Ridge Rangers. Catcher Newman coming over, uh, coming up to the mound to say a quick word to Morial and make sure they're on the same page. Gunn looks at a first pitch breaking ball that catches the outside part of the plate for called strike one. And Mario throws over to check the runner Howard at first. He's back in time. Next pitch swung on, grounded foul, softly down the third base side. So Morrow comes back after that walk, working 0-2 working here on the cleanup hitter gun. I'm trying to see, is that actually Howard out there at first, or did they put in a courtesy runner? Okay, there is a courtesy runner out there. So number 23. Next pitch is swung on and missed, strike three. First strikeout of the night for Morio. And that's two away now. Okay, number 23, Owen Sanders, is the uh, courtesy runner in place of the pitcher, Hank Howard, at first base. And two outs now. Brings up the right fielder, Matthew Foley. And he looks at a first pitch fastball with some good arm side run on it for called strike one. Now batting number four, Matthew Foley. Comes inside with a fastball swung on and missed, strike two. Nice movement on that strike. Fastball outside corner. This time he's going to drop a little soft, soft line drive, but right fielder Morio comes in and makes the grab in the air, and that will end the inning. 
Brother James in right field making the play for the third out for the Mavs. Helping his brother out there. That's right. So one run comes across on one hit. And Vista Ridge up by a score one to zero as we head to the bottom of the first. Mavs coming up for their first at bats. We'll be right back. All right, leading it off for the Mavs. Here in the bottom of the first inning, left fielder Ramsey Simpson. Leading off for the Mavericks, number 12, Ramsey Simpson. He'll be followed by second baseman Jack Goins and the shortstop Ryan Vasek. Simpson looks like a first pitch fastball, misses low. Simpson won for four last night. So we get to the next pitch, and it's a Lock line ball. drive that's going to just stay up long enough for the left fielder Nathman to come. Actually, it's Gonzalez out there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's Gonzalez. So, well hit ball, but lined out to the uh, left fielder for the first out of the inning. The one, well, the ball left the, left the bat, and I thought uh, it's going to drop in front of Gonzalez, but yeah. it just, just stayed up in the air long enough for Gonzalez to make the play in left field first out. Brings up Jack Goins. Looks at a first pitch breaking ball in there for called strike. Goins one for two last night. As he looks at another breaking ball that misses a little high and inside. One one pitch, another fastball misses outside and low. Howard working quickly off the mound. Next fastball misses far outside. So Goins will be in there with a 3 1 count now. Three one pitch swung on, lofted in the air. Shallow right field, could be foul territory, and is caught by the right fielder in foul territory for the second out of the inning. So two outs, nobody on, brings up the shortstop, Ryan Vosick. Vosick playing out of his head last night at the plate, four for four, three singles and a triple and a two RBIs. Two runs scored as well last night. Looks at a first pitch fastball. Comes in high on the hands. Misses for ball. Another fastball misses low and outside this time. 2-0 hitters count to Vasek. 
Next pitch swung on, fouled back into the screen. Two one pitch swung on and missed. So two balls, two strikes to count, two outs. A quick bat here. Quick bat. Oh man, next pitch swung on and missed. Strike three. Efficient work for Howard there. Yep, Mavs go one, two, three here in the bottom of the first. Twelve pitches for Howard, yep. And we head to the top of the second. Fist Ridge up one zero. We'll be right back. She's an Aquarius. <laughs> All right, leading off the top of the second inning for Vista Ridge, designated hitter Devin Gonzalez. He's in a first pitch Devin fastball, Devin misses high and out. Gonzalez. Gonzalez will be followed by the seven and eight hole hitters, which will be third baseman Grant Anderson and the second baseman Jackson Harrell. Second pitch to Gonzalez, breaking ball in there for called strike. It took a long time to get the sign there from his catcher Newman, so they're going to go head out and have a conversation. Hopefully they're back on the same page here with the signs. Two and one the count to the hitter Gonzalez. Next pitch swung on and missed, strike two. Two two pitch, nice breaking ball, but missed a little high and out or a little outside. So the count will go full to the leadoff hitter Gonzalez this inning. And three two pitch misses high and inside. So Gonzalez will be aboard with the leadoff walk. Now batting from Vista Ridge, number eighteen, Grant Anderson. That'll bring up the third baseman, Grant Anderson. And 
Anderson looks at a first pitch fastball in there on the inside corner for strike one. Great pitch. Painting that inside edge of the plate for that first called strike. Squares around to bunt, lays it down, but it's going to be foul over towards the first base side. So it'll be 0 and 2. Count to hitter Anderson. And that bunt sign will draw in the third baseman, Caleb Crail, onto the grass. And Morio throws over to check the run around first. Gonzalez there. He's back in time. Let's call up a double play right here. here. Another throw over for Morio. Nothing doing. O2 pitch. Fastball misses inside. Be one and two. Next pitch swung on ground ball. Oh, just over the head of the third baseman Crail, but uh, it was foul right ball. down the line, and umpire called it foul. Boy, that was one of those big choppers that just chopped off the grass. And third baseman Crail jumped up, tried to get a hold on it, couldn't get a hold on it, but luckily it went foul. So Anderson comes back for another 1 2 pitch. Runner goes, pitches a breaking ball that misses high, and the throwdown may have been in time, but popped out of the second baseman uh, Goins' his glove, so Gonzalez is going to be safe with a stolen base. And the count is 2-2 two and two now on the hitter Anderson. Next pitch swung on. Kind of a soft fly ball into shallow left field, and that's going to get down for a single. Uh, it is just enough to allow the uh, runner, Gonzalez, to advance from second base. So it'll be runners on the corners now, first and third. Nobody out. And that brings up the second base from Jack and Jackson Harrell. Just a little flare there. A little flare out to left field. Yeah. Anderson. Wasn't even a... Wasn't even a strike, no. frankly, and uh, Anderson just kind of stuck the bat out there, didn't try to do, do too much to with it, and managed to find some grass. And Harold tries to check his swing on that fastball that came inside there and fouls it sharply out of play. Squares around to bunt, lays it down the first baseline. First baseman Collins charging, but Nowhere it's going to be go. safe all around. Yep. Perfect bunt. Which scores the second run for Vista Ridge. That's right. So Gonzalez advanced from third to home on that play, so making the score 2 0. And we've got runners on first and second now. Because of the number nine hitter, Ethan Sanders. How about that? And he squares around to bunt. Looks at a first pitch breaking ball that looked pretty good from here, but uh, <laughs> didn't get the call, so it'll be ball one. Don't see very many bunt singles for RBIs, but. And he's going to square around to bunt again. He pops this one up, but it's probably going to be not playable. So Vista Ridge intent on using the small ball here early this game. These high school teams tend to like to use it as a tactic against these left-handed pitchers who have a harder time getting around the ball. I'm sure he'll be squaring away here. Third baseman Crail is up on the grass. He does square around he again. Does. Pops it up. It's popped right up Go. to the pitcher Morio. And that, but everybody will get back to the bag safely.
So Sanders pop out, pops out via bunt to the pitcher for the first out of the inning. Runners remain on first and second, and we're back to the top of the order here with uh, Alex Brindermeyer, who singled and scored the first run for the Rangers back in the first. Nice looks at his first pitch, breaking ball inside, called for strike one. Either a fastball or a slider here. A little bit of cut on that one. Misses a little bit inside and low. This will be one and one. I'm thinking slider on that last pitch. The dirt. Where's he at two? He's at about yeah, 40th pitch coming from Brandon Morio. That's pitch breaking ball misses a little high. It'll be two and one. Next pitch fastball misses high again. So it'll be three balls, one strike to Brindlemeyer. One pitch misses low and inside. So Brenda Meyer will be aboard with a walk. Now we'll load the bases. And I'll bring up the catcher Jake Wagner. Had a sacrifice fly back in the first inning that scored Brenda Meyer. And we'll see if uh, Mr. Ridge doesn't dial up the bunt here. First pitch misses inside. Third baseman Crail playing up on the grass, anticipating bunt. Or just to catch a hot ground ball and try to cut off the run at the plate. It looks like we're going to have time here. Umpire's going to clean off home plate. Will not surprise me at all if Wagner squares around a bunt here. Continue the small ball with one down, bases loaded. He holds up on a fastball, misses a little bit low, ball two. Pitch misses just a little bit low. But Morio struggling to find some control here. 3 0 the count. Nowhere to put him. Base is loaded. Pitch is swung on. Ground ball to third. Gets through the third baseman. Fielded by Vasek on the back up there at short, but uh, nowhere to make a play. As the third run comes across the plate for Vista Ridge. That being, that being Anderson that scored for the third run for Vista. Looks like they're going to score that a single. So single by Wagner, and he gets a courtesy runner being the catcher. Looks like number 14, Corbin Luther, goes in and is the runner at first now. So we've got bases loaded, still one out. Hank Howard comes to the plate. Yeah, that's correct. The uh, previous uh, play, the, there was no error. It was ruled a hit. Uh, third baseman Caleb Krell, you know, had his glove on it, but uh, ruled a hit. And 
Howard looks at a second pitch breaking ball in there that missed a little high. Ball two. That looked good to a uh, tall batter. <laughs> and Coward. But. Next pitch swung on. Line drive into center field. Chris Winsman is there to grink the grab in the air, but that's going to be deep enough for another run to score from third. So an RBI sack fly for Howard makes the score 4-0. That'll be the second out of the inning. Runners, runners at first and second remained. And that will, with two outs, that'll bring up the uh, number four hitter, Tiny Gun, who struck out in his first at bat. Runner from second goes, pitches a breaking ball that misses outside. Oh. And throw, throw is on time, but uh, popped out of the glove. Popped out of third baseman Crail's glove. And on the, uh, the ball that got away there, that allowed the runner from first to advance to second. So we got a 1-0 count, and runners now in second and third. Next pitch, breaking ball swung on and fouled softly back to the screen. One one pitch, swung on, lined Ooh. sharply to third, and it looks like they're going to call that a line drive, and that will end the inning. Although there is some confusion here. Yeah, base runners keep running around. I thought it was initially an out line drive, line drive out. The third baseman caught the caught the ball, but maybe that's not the case here. We'd like to give a shout out to our triple play sponsor, Ortho 360. With six convenient locations, Ortho 360s brings over 20 years of orthodontic experience. So we'll, uh, there's some discussion between both umpires and the coaching staff of Vista Ridge here as to what happened. I believe what happened was the home plate umpire called it a line drive out, which would have been the third out of the inning. And that looks like it was going to be what it is. Okay. So, Gunn lines out the third to end the inning. But Vista Ridge tacks on three more runs. Makes the score 4-0. Mavs heading into the bottom of the second coming up to bat. We'll be right back. All right, leading off for the Mavericks here. Bottom of the second inning, chasing four runs. 
Now the first baseman, Jackson Collins. First pitch to Collins. Fastball misses outside low. The ball one. Collins will be followed by the center fielder, Chris Winnesman, and then the third baseman, Caleb Crail. Next pitch to Collins is in there this time on the outside corner for called strike. This time, swinging, swings and misses at a fastball. So it'll be one ball, two strikes. It's like fast forward is what I feel like <laughs> with how Hank Howard is, is Yeah, he's moving with tempo for yeah. sure. Oh, Collins gets a big cut at the next pitch. That ball's going to get over the head of the left Heck fielder yeah. and bounces off the base of the fence on one hop, and he's going to be in with a leadoff double. That a boy, Jackson. Leadoff double. There we go. Collins was two for four last night with a double in RBI, and he keeps his double streak going here. And that'll bring up number five hitter, Chris Windesman. Now batting from the Mavericks center fielder, number 18, Chris Windesman. Takes a big cut at the first pitch he sees and misses strike one. Swing and a miss. Looks like a change up this time. Uh, yeah. So strike two. He definitely threw that, uh, threw him off with the change up there. Comes the 0 2 pitch. Swung and I got a piece of it and he fouled it off of. Well, looks like it might have been off the neck or collarbone of the catcher, Wagner. Yeah, it looks like the neck is what he's going to. Catcher Wagner. Oh, I don't know if they... they used to make the old kind of throat guards yeah. that used to hang off the uh, bottom of the catcher mask there. I don't know if Wagner's mask has that or not because he took a shot right back there in the neck. Looks like catcher Wagner's okay. Yeah, that mask doesn't. I don't know. I don't know if they even make them with those little throw guards anymore. But boy, those sure do come in handy, though. Well, you get a situation like that. And unless you got one of them hockey goalie masks that kind of the chin come part down. comes down deep uh -huh. enough, yeah. tuck it in there. But all right, so he took a couple warm-up pitches. He's good to go. So Winsman steps, getting ready to step back in with 0-2 count. Jackson Collins, the leadoff here to this inning, standing on second base, nobody out. Glad to see Wagner's all right there. Way Next to pitch. hold off. Comes in on the hands. For a ball. One two pitch, fastball misses outside. So working back with a two two count now. Keep battling here, Chris. Two two pitch, swung out and missed, strike three. Change up. Yeah, it looks like there's definitely a off speed of some sort there. Mm -hmm. Second strikeout for Howard tonight. First out of the inning. That brings up third baseman Caleb Crail. Number 29, Caleb Crail. <laughs> 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 
swings at a high fastball and misses strike one. A one pitch swung on and missed again strike two. Pitch swung on, fouled out of play. Well, the pitch swung on, fouled back into the net. So Crail battling away here with. 0-2. Oh, wonder what Hank Howard is hitting on the radar gun with that, on his velo with that fastball. Definitely some good velo. Uh -huh. Checks his swing, a little ground ball, hits the third base side. Third base, Mason fields it. Hey. He's there. But Crail beats the throw. He's got, yeah, I was about to say, get back on the bag, but, and he did. So an infield single there as the third baseman kind of took a long time to look back. The runner Collins to second. Collins advances from second to third on the throw. And uh, Crail hustling, hustling his way down to first. Legs it out for an infield single. So runners on the corners now with one out. Brings up the pitcher, Brandon Morio. Now batting number 14, Brandon Morio. See if we can't get something going here for the Mavs. Runners on the first and third and one out. First pitch to Morio is called strike. Next pitch, fastball. Looked a little outside, but umpire said it crossed, crossed the plate. So 0 and 2 to Morio. Just looking for a ground ball of some sort here to try to get a run in. Throw over to first base. Not in time to catch the runner Crail. Comes the 0-2 pitch to Morio. Swung on a miss, strike three. Third strikeout of the night for Howard so far and the second out of the inning. That'll bring up uh, right fielder James Morio. Now batting right fielder number 15, James Morio. Oh, he looks at a first pitch that's a called strike, but ball fell out of the catcher's glove. Ball was so low it <laughs> fell out of the catcher's glove. So okay, 0 and 1. Sorry, all I can do is laugh. So <laughs> next pitch is swung on and fouled out of play. Oh and two, the count to Morio. Next pitch misses a little high and outside. Ball one. It's a one-two pitch. Breaking ball in there. Called strike three. So leadoff double by Collins, but I'm going to bring him around. Mavs leave runners on first and third here in the bottom of the second. We head to the top of the third. Vista Ridge still up by a score of 4-0. to zero. We'll be right back.
All right, leading off for Vista Ridge here in the top of the third. Be five, six, seven, starting off with right fielder Foley? Matthew yeah. Foley, who had a line out to right field back in the first. Now batting for Vista Ridge, right fielder number four, Matthew Foley. First pitch to Foley, swung on, lofted, shallow fly ball, foul territory Colin on the first base room. side, and oh. oh. That you want back. He just dropped the ball and just popped out of his glove, in fa just in foul territory. Okay. So it's just a long pop strike <laughs> for the hitter Foley. He'll come back with a no one count. Nice pitch. I don't know where that, where did that miss? Another breaking ball misses just a little bit high. <laughs> Didn't even look high, but uh, okay. No, I digress. <laughs> Next pitch swung on, lofted out of play. So Mora working ahead here, one two on the leadoff hitter Foley. Next pitch swung on, lofted foul again, right field side, out of play. Looks like it might hit the top of the uh, Mavericks tunnel cages. Yeah, it did. All right, got two strikes on him. Comes another one two pitch. Come and get him. Fastball swung on and missed, strike three. Looks like Morial dialed up a little bit extra on that one. He sure did. I love it. Second strike out of the game for Morio. First out of the inning. I'll bring up the designated hitter, Devin Gonzalez. Walked in his only at bat so far and uh, scored one of the three runs back in the second inning. First pitch, fastball in there, the outside corner called strike one. <laughs> I don't know if. What did I miss? I don't know if the umpire's arm hit the uh, catcher's arm on that throwback to the mound there, but it bounced back. <laughs> See it. <laughs> it was the 0 1 pitch. Breaking ball swung on, soft ground ball fielded by Vasek at short, throws over All to right. first in time. Just in time. All Just right. in time. We got the out. Second out. Good break ball there. Gonzalez held back just enough to get a bat on it, but not enough to have a hard swing. And uh, Gonzalez is walking back a bit gingerly back to the Ranger dugout there. Well, and uh, Gonzalez has good speed. He does and, uh, have good speed, yeah. And so Vasa gets shortstop. You know, he was waiting on it. I was like, well, mm -hmm. come and get that ball. <laughs> Brings up a third baseman, Anderson, who swings the first pitch and lofts it foul and out of play right field side. Just made it a close play at, uh, at first base, but. Second out, just the same. So, well, the other thing is soft ground ball. Vosick's playing pretty much at the outfield grass. He's deep. He's he deep and short there. Yep. So you had to kind of come in, hustle, and make Good throw. Good point. Yep. Comes the 0-1 pitch to Anderson. Fastball catches the inside corner. Called strike two. Strikes on Anderson. Next pitch swung on. A little soft chop ground ball again to Vasek at short. Bobbles it a couple times. Throws it over in time for the third out of the inning. Woo, what a, yeah. Good job hanging on to that ball there by the shortstop Vasek. So, Vista Ridge goes 1-2-3 here in the top of the third. No runs, no hits. Head to the bottom of the third. Mavs coming up to the bat, still chasing four runs. We'll be right back.
All right, leading off this inning, bottom of the third for the Mavs. Be number nine hitter to catcher Wyatt Newman, then back to the top of the order. And Newman looks at a first pitch fastball over the middle of the plate for strike one. So we got Newman and then top of the order Simpson, Goins, then Vasek. Swings so the next pitch. Hard ground ball, shortstop, fielded by Harrell over at short, throws over to first in time. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Brings up the leadoff hitter, left fielder Ramsey Simpson, lined out to left field in his first appearance. First pitch to Simpson, called strike, and another one that escapes the glove of the catcher. Well, this next 0 1 fastball bounces. This will be one ball, one strike to Simpson. I thought umpire was about to call strike two right there. <laughs> like, please? Okay, no, you didn't. Thank you. <laughs> One one pitch catches the outside corner there for call strike two. There's strike two. Yeah. Yeah. Tries to check a swing on that last pitch, but they appeal down to the first base umpire and they say he went across. So it'll be a strikeout for the second out of the inning. Fifth strikeout of the game so far for Howard. Number one, Jack Goins. And two away brings up the second baseman, Jack Goins, who flew out to right field in his first appearance. Pretty efficient for Howard. 40 pitches and 5 Ks. <clears throat> and just, what, two hits. First pitch to Goins, misses a little inside low. Yep, that's accurate. Two hits for the Mavericks. Next pitch is in there for called strike. Next pitch, long frame there, but uh, umpire says it missed, so it'll be two balls and one strike to Goins. This pitch is swung on and fouled out of play. Well, that one's got a shot to get into the road. Yeah, that definitely looked like a road shot. Hopefully everybody's okay. 2-2 Two -two pitch, swung on, ground bottle shortstop, fielded by Harrell. Throw over to first in time, and that will retire the side. So no runs, no hits for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the third. We head to the top of the fourth. Score still Vista Ridge 4, McNeil 0. We'll be right back. Baseball would like to thank Silver Slugger sponsor Star Insurance Agency. Star Insurance has been serving Austin since 2002.
Uh, leading off for Vista Ridge here in the top of the fourth. Number eight hitter Jackson Harrell had a single and scored a run back in the second. And he looks at a first pitch fastball. Looked pretty good from here, but Empire said it missed. Where did that miss, Jason? <laughs> Could have been high. I don't know. Oh. That one clearly missed outside. Yeah. pitch misses like a little bit low so a quick 3-0 count here to lead off hitter Harrell and Harrell will head down on four straight balls with the lead off walk not batting for Vista Ridge number seven Ethan Sanders That'll bring up the number nine hitter, shortstop Ethan Sanders. He uh, popped out on a bunt attempt to the pitcher back in the second inning. First pitch breaking ball misses in the dirt. Next pitch, fastball, misses high and outside. Third baseman Caleb Crail up on, the, up on the grass, anticipating bunt as Morio throws over to first to check the runner back in time. Yeah, Crell keeps, he's creeping forward here on the grass. And Mario comes inside with a fastball, catches the inside corner for a called strike. Two and one the count, Sanders. Runner goes. There goes Harold. Pitch is swung on and fouled out of play. That's another one has got a shot for a car on the road. Ah, look out. So Harrell will head back to first. And we will have a 2-2 two -two count to Sanders. Harrell with an aggressive lead on first base. Heads back and swing and a miss by Sanders there, strike three. It's the first out of the inning. Third strikeout of the night for Morio. Brings us back to the top of the Vista Ridge order. Leadoff hitter, center fielder, Alex Brindemeyer. <clears throat> Reached safely in both appearances tonight. Single back in the first and then a walk in the second inning. And first pitch of Brenda Myers in there for called strike. <laughs> Next pitch, good looking breaking ball that must have crossed a little bit high there. So one ball, one strike, the count to Brenda Meyer. Sorry, I was a little speechless there. <laughs> Next pitch, fouled, out of play, right field side. Catcher Wyatt Newman gave chase, but uh, just ran out of room. Long strike two. So Harold's still on first base, and we got one down. A 
Here comes the one-two pitch to Brindemeyer. And it looks like it hits him on the hand. <clears throat> Thank you. Although he's saying it hit him on the hand, but it must have also hit the, hit the bat. Because he has not run down to first. Right. So, yeah, it looks like it's a foul ball. Unless he's trying to pull a little, uh, what was it, Derek Jeter situation there? Mm -hmm. to, it was a Jeter or, uh, or A Rod that tried to sell that it was a hit by a pitch, and it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it was Jeter that had done it. <laughs> it was one of those guys in that notorious Yankee band there. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I could be wrong. Whatever it was, I'm probably wasn't buying what Bruno Mar was selling. <laughs> so it's one and two to count again. He's like, but but it hit me in the hand. <laughs> Next pitch, breaking ball swung on, gets through the gap between first and second into right field for a He's single. Like, well, the ball did hit me in the hand, but I'll just get a single anyway and get on base. <laughs> he sure was trying to sell that though. <laughs> All right, so one out single after the uh, kind of foul slash hit by pitch there. Runners on first and second now. And we're going to have a pinch hitter, it looks like, for the catcher Wagner. Number nine, John Longoria. So it looks like number nine, John Longoria, is now the hitter in place of the starting catcher Wagner in the two spot. John Longoria. And he looks at two straight strikes to start the at-bat. This pitch fastball misses just a little bit off the plate. Good place to miss, though. Now one and two and one out. The runners on first and second. Just pitch another fastball and misses down in the dirt. So kind of go to two and two. Looks like we've got a final score from around the district. Vandegrift over Stony Point by a score of four to one. Two two pitch. Breaking ball misses just a little bit high. So the count will go full to Longoria. Next pitch swung on, fouled out of play, back behind the screen. Pitch number eighty three coming up for Morio. No wind whatsoever. Flags are just oh, you're standstill. right. still. 3-2 pitch. Breaking ball misses inside and high. Ball four. So that walk will load the bases again. And that'll bring up the number three hitter and pitcher, Hank Howard. First pitch to Howard. Fastball called strike on the outside corner. This pitch breaking by a little chop ground ball right in between home and pitcher's mound, and it's going to be a swinging bunt with everybody safe. That ball probably went about four feet. Tops. 
and just kind of hit that no man's land right in between pitcher and catcher. Fifth run is going for the uh, for Vista Ridge. Base is loaded still now with yep with one out. So the RBI kind of swinging bunt by Howard there will uh, bring up the number four hitter Tynan Gunn. 0 for 2 tonight with a strikeout and a line out. He looks at a breaking ball that once again seems to have missed a little bit high. He has not gotten that uh, breaking ball pitch. You know that uh, it looks like it should be a strike. But, you know in that zone, but umpire's not calling it. 1-0 pitch popped up. Should be infield fly. Second baseman and shortstop Vasek come over and they make the grab. For the second out there. So Gunn pops out. Shortstop for the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up the right fielder Foley. 0 for 2 tonight with a line out and a strikeout. Swings to the first pitch, lines a ground ball, foul down third base line. One breaking ball misses maybe a little bit low and outside this time. Boy, he's just not getting that breaking ball mm -hmm. tonight. Nope. Comes back with the fastball swung on and missed. Strike two. So one ball, two strikes to count to Foley. Bases loaded, two outs. Oh, and they're that? going to try to steal home on the throwback, they and they are successful. So Brindermeyer steals home on the throwback from the catcher to the pitcher. And that will make the score 6-0. Runners on first and second remain where they are. And right, here comes a 2-2 pitch to Foley. Swung on, hard ground ball. Knocked down by the shortstop, Vosick. Going to throw over to first. Throw gets away from the first baseman, Collins. That's going to allow a run to score. Runner's going to try to advance from third, second. That throw gets away from the third baseman. But the runner's going to hold on third. A lot happening right there. Although Foley advances to second on the uh, kind of throw around that was happening there. So the runner stay in scoring, scoring position there. Did they get two in? Or is that? That's what I was. Yeah, I think two runs scored two on that. Two additional runs scored. Yep. Actually, no, that that would be one run. One no, run. no, 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 it's, it's one run. I, Brings up the action. Brings it's up Devin Gonzalez to the plate, and he swings the first pitch yeah. and fouls it out of play. So seven nothing Vista. Getting ahead of myself there a little bit, but it's all good. No, I was with you. I was I was losing <laughs> track of it too. <laughs> Two outs with runners on second and third. Seven nothing's the score. So it looks like the courtesy runner for Howard, number twenty three. Yeah. Which is Owen Sanders Owen again. Sanders he again. stands on third. He did not come all the way around to score. Correct. Okay, now we're up to speed. <laughs> one one pitch to Gonzalez, which is misses a little low and out. So it'll be two balls, one strike. Got two outs now. Runners on second and third. Next pitch comes really close inside, almost hits Gonzalez. It'll be three balls and one strike. Oh, 
Nobody up in the Mavs bullpen, although we did see uh, the right fielder, James Morio, warming up in between innings. As Morio is coming up on pitch number 97 of the outing. Next pitch swung on, ground ball to third, gets over the glove of the third baseman, Crail, and into left field. And that's going to score two more runs. See if they score that a hit or an error there. So, still two away. Runner on first now. Brings up the third baseman, Grant Anderson, to the plate. One for two tonight with a single and a run scored. And he looks at the first two pitches for two straight balls. And next pitch is swung on, fly ball in the right field. Right fielder Morio is underneath and it makes the grab. Hundred pitch. That was the hundred pitch too. That'll Brandon probably Morio do it for Brandon Morio. Um, so Vista Ridge tacks on one, two, three, four, five runs there in the fourth on just three hits we head to the bottom of the fourth Mavs need to get the bats going trailing by nine runs we'll be right back All right, leading off for the Mavs here in the bottom of the fourth. Number three hitter, Ryan Vosick. First pitch to Vosick, misses low and outside, ball one. Mavs have to start just kind of stringing together one good at bat in front of the next. And for next pitch is swung on, chopped foul, third base side. That's right, we just got to start somewhere, so any way to get on. By any means necessary is right, John Shook. <laughs> I like your style. Hard ground ball hit to second base. Bobbled by the second baseman, Vasek hustling to first, and he's going to be safe. Throw was uh, throw was down in the dirt to the first baseman there, Gun. He did scoop it, but I think Vostick maybe foot hit the bag before before the ball could be caught in mitt. So Vostick's aboard. Bring up the first baseman Jackson Collins, who opened the second inning with a double.
First pitch misses. First pitch to Collins misses for a ball. Just start chipping away here. Next pitch fastball misses just a bit high. The 2 0 pitch to Collins. Another fastball misses low and outside in the dirt. Collins is looking at 3 0. Green light. Let's get another double. Last at bat. And next pitch is a Get me over. Fastball on the outside corner for a called strike. Three one pitch. Swung on. Fly ball. Center field. Center fielder takes a couple steps back and he's gonna make the grab. And it's not gonna be deep enough for Vosik to advance, so he'll remain at first base. Too bad there's no wind blowing out. That ball couldn't get up at the center fielder's yep. head. No wind whatsoever. Not tonight. So one away. Brings up Chris Windesman. Had a strikeout in his only appearance so far this game. Run it goes. And the throwdown is going to be late and offline, so Vasek will be in with stolen base. All right, that actually, uh, so back in the last inning there, number nine Longoria came in to hit for the catcher Wagner, who appears to have exited the game. Might be due to the foul ball he took off kind of the collarbone area yeah. back in the one of the earlier innings the there. And, yeah. yeah, you may be right. Off the collarbone, you're right. So looks like Longoria has gone in in his place and is, is the current catcher for Vista Ridge. one -oh pitch to Windesman coming up. Swung on, fouled, back out of play behind the press box. Next pitch, breaking ball, swung on, miss, strike two. Okay, it looks like uh, that was a called strike three there. So Windesman strikes out for the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up the third baseman, Caleb Crail, had a single back in the second inning, his only at bat. And he swings to the first pitch, lofts a pop fly, kind of just right behind shortstop there into short center field and shortstop. Harold makes the grab, and that will end the inning. We'd like to thank Bohemian Barbecue, home run sponsor, and the official caterer. Of the so Mavs we moved to the top of the Bohemian fifth. Bohemian Barbecue. Yep, no runs, no hits for the Mavs there in the bottom of the fourth. They show up Heading to the top of the fifth. Bohemian Barbecue brings delicious to you. Vista Ridge still up comfortably by a score of 9-0. to zero. We'll be right back.
All right, we have a new pitcher for the Mavericks here. Ready to face the 8-9 and back to the top of the order for Vista Ridge. New pitcher James Morio has come in in relief for his brother Brandon Morio. He will face the second baseman Jackson Harrell as his first hitter. And first pitch for Morio. Seems to have missed somewhere outside for a ball. Next pitch fastball in there for a called strike this time. Well, one breaking ball. Almost caught Harrell swinging there, but holds off on it. Misses for a ball. So two balls, one strike to count. Then she pitch swung on, lofted foul. Out of play over by the uh, Mavericks tunnel cage. Two and two, the count now to Harrell. Next pitch is in there, called strike three. There we go. What a start it off for James. Nice K. For strikeout for James Morio tonight. Brother Brandon had uh, three strikeouts through the four innings complete he pitched. That brings up uh, number nine hitter Ethan Sanders. Sanders 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a pop out. Next pitch, fastball misses a little low and outside. Back to the top of the Vista Ridge order after Sanders is at bat. Next pitch comes inside, misses. So 3-0 the count. Yeah, then we'll be coming to the top of the order. Brennelmeyer, Longoria, and then Howard after Sanders. Next pitch, fastball comes in, catches the inside corner for called strike one. Three one pitch, swung on, fouled back into the net. So Mori works his way back from a 3-0 count to full count now. One out, nobody on. And next pitch misses a little bit high. Ball four. So one out walk for Sanders. Brings us back to the leadoff hitter. Alex Brundemeyer. Two for two today. Two singles, a walk, two runs scored. And first pitch fastball misses outside and high.
Next pitch swung on a miss. Snap throw down to first. Close play, but not in time to catch the runner, Harold. Or sorry, Sanders. How many other games do we have going on tonight in district play? Should be a few more going on. I've only seen one final so far, though. The uh, Vandegrift over Stony Point. Was that four to one? Yeah, four to one. As Morio throws over to check the runner Sanders, he's back in time. Yeah. Four to one Vander Vandegrift. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. One pitch to Brindlemeyer. Okay. Fastball catches the inside corner for called strike two. Great looking pitch right there. One ball and two strikes to count to Brindlemeyer. And next pitch is just got a piece of it fouled it back in the screen. Looks like we've got uh, Westwood leading Hutto by a score of 7 to 0 in the bottom of the fifth. Okay. And what about Round Rock? Let's see if I can get a score on Round Rock here after this pitch. Next pitch misses just inside. Hmm. Ball two. So two and two count. Run on first one out. Next pitch breaking ball swung on, fouled softly down the third base side. Comes a 2-2 pitch. Runner goes. Pitch is swung on. Grounded sharply to third base. Knocked down by the third baseman, Crail. Throws over to first in time there to get Brundemeyer. Go. Nice play by Crail. Knocked it down. Made a good throw. The first to get the second out of the inning. So ground out makes it two outs now. Sanders moves to second on the throw. And that brings up the number two hitter and the current catcher, John Longoria. First pitch seems to miss a little bit high for a ball. Seems to be the story of the night. <laughs> Missing high. Umpire doesn't like it there. But he has been consistent with not calling it. Well, next pitch misses a little bit outside. So it'll be 2-0 count to Longoria. Looks at a next pitch fastball in there for called strike one. Two one pitch. Fastball catches the outside mm -hmm. corner this time, strike two. Two balls, two strikes, the count to Longoria. Two outs. Sanders, the runner on second.
2-2 pitch. Fastball misses a little low, so it'll be full count now. Come and get him here, James. And next pitch misses outside, ball four. So two out walk for Longoria. We'll make it first and runners on first and second now. And we're gonna have a courtesy runner, number 21, Garrett Ruschopt comes in to run for the catcher Longoria at first. And that brings up the uh, Vista Ridge pitcher, Hank Howard, to the plate. Howard one for, actually one for one for today. Single, sack fly, and a walk. And walked, yeah. And he looks at a one of those breaking balls that seemed to not be strike worthy, but from any pitcher from McNeil tonight, that was called a ball. Next pitch, fastball in there for a called strike on the outside corner. Next pitch, breaking ball swung on in the gap at shortstop. Knocked down by Vosick, but not going to have a play. Yeah. Although play runner's going to try to come from second, uh. but the throw is offline, and it's going to score a run. <laughs> and we had a little bit of confusion there as uh, the little bat boy came running yeah. out to, for Vista Ridge. He grabbed the bat a little too early. <laughs> <laughs> umpire holding them back. <laughs> All right, so on the ground ball, and then the subsequent throw home. One run scores. Courtesy runner moves from first to third, and Howard moves to second. That brings up the number four hitter, Gun. And we're going to have another courtesy runner for the pitcher, Howard, at second. I can't quite see that far out who that is yet, but we'll get that update as soon as we can. Runners on second and third, two outs. Comes the first pitch to gun. Breaking ball swung on. Line foul out of play. Next pitch, fastball swung on. Oh, umpire said foul tip back in the glove. Either way, strike two. Come and get him. Oh, two fastball misses a little high now. Ball one. And you just will not get that call. Another breaking ball. Got to put a breaking ball on a postage stamp tonight. <laughs> Misses. Doesn't matter which Morio's pitching. <laughs> they are not getting that call. So two balls, two strikes to count. Next pitch, fastball misses outside, so the count's going to go full. Next pitch swung on, lofted foul out of play over by the Mavs tunnel cage again. A 
was a 3-2 pitch. Breaking ball misses high and outside. Ball four. So that's going to load the bases. Two outs. How about a number four, Matthew Foley? And that'll bring up right fielder Matthew Foley. 0 for 3 tonight. Line out, strike out, and uh, reach safely on an error back in the fourth. And he swings and he lines the first pitch into right field. That's going to get down for a base hit. One run is going to come across. Runner is going to score from second as well. And it's a two RBI single with two outs for Foley. Making the score. So making the score 12 to nothing, Vista Ridge. That'll bring up Devin Gonzalez, a designated hitter. Looks at a first pitch fastball called strike one. Gonzalez with a walk, run scored, grounded out to short, and then a single in his last at bat. Checks his swing, and the next pitch pops it up behind the catcher's area there. Newman got kind of a late break on it there and managed to get a glove on it with a diving play yeah. at the end there, but unable to come up with it. Yeah, nice effort. Even being a late effort. So 0 and 2 the count now to Gonzalez. Another check swing, fouls it back into the net. So first and th runners on first and third, two away, and two strikes on Gonzalez. Breaking ball swung on, line drive, a couple of steps to his left. Shortstop Vasek makes the play. So Vista Ridge adds three more to their total, making it a score of 12. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Mavs looking to add some base runners and runs of any kind. <laughs> Coming up, we'll be right back.
Now batting for the Mavericks, number 22, Ryan Shook. All right, leading off for the Mavs, we're going to have a pinch hitter. Number Ryan 22, Shook. Ryan Shook comes in and hits in place of uh, Brandon Morio. Let's go, Shook. He swings the first pitch, Ooh. loves a sky-high fly ball, but it's going to get out of play. Almost tagged him. Yeah, next pitch misses inside close. All one. one. one, one. Next pitch swung on and missed. One two pitch to Shook. Swung on ground ball, but it's going to get foul. Break the ball foul down the uh, third baseline this time. I like this at bat. He's uh, he's battling up there, taking some hacks. Any way to get on, Ryan? Oh, he's pitch swung on a miss, strike three. That's okay, buddy. One away here in the bottom of the fifth brings up the current pitcher, James Morio. Morio with a strikeout in his only appearance tonight. Not for the Mavericks, number 15, James Morio. First pitch to Morio catches the outside corner for a called strike one. Fastball misses outside that time. One one pitch swung on ground ball fielded. Oh, kind of bobbled by go. the first baseman gun. Morio is going to be in safe. Good job. So Morio hustles out the miscue by the first baseman gun. There will be safe on the air. And the Mavs have a base runner. Now batting number 16, Wyatt Newman. And that'll bring up Wyatt Newman to the plate. And uh, we're also going to have a courtesy runner for the pitcher, Morio. Number 23, Alex Bersenio, goes in to be the runner at first. So we got Newman. We got Newman in the top of the order with Simpson and Goins coming up. Newman would have ground out to short in his only at bat today. Swing at the first pitch, lines a shot in the right center gap. That's going to get down and it's going to go for extra bases. That's rolling all the way to the fence. Keep going, that ball. That should allow Brasenio to score. Come and on, Newman's going to get all the way to third with a stand up yes. triple. Way to hit the ball, Newman. There we go. A little spark of life for the Mavs here in the bottom Love of the it. fifth. So the Mavs finally on the board late here. Yes. Time to update. 12 to 1. How many for the Mavs? Number 12, Ramsey Simpson. That brings us back to the Mavs top of the order here. Ramsey Simpson stands in. Looks at that first pitch. Fastball misses low and outside for ball one. I was happy to get rid of that zero for the Mavs. This point, you are on the board. Yes. <laughs> 
Miss low and in with that fastball. 2-0. We got one out with runner on third, Mr. Newman, with the stand-up triple. Next pitch swung on, fouled back. Next pitch comes inside, I'll gets pitch. away from the catcher, and that's going to allow Newman to advance from third. Here we go. Now that'll make the score 12 to 2. Another run scored. It's a 2 1 pitch. Actually, that was a 3 1 pitch. And that's ball four, as that one misses in the dirt as well. So Mavs keep the inning extending here. And Simpson's aboard with a one out walk. Brings up second baseman Jack Goins. Now batting number one, Jack Goins. 0 for 2 tonight with a fly out and a ground out. That just means he's due. Here we go, Jack. Checks a swing on the first pitch. Called a strike. And Howard throws over to check the runner Simpson at first, and he's back safely. Next pitch, breaking ball, swung out and missed, strike two. O2 pitch, swung out and missed, strike three. So Mavs down to their last out and brings up number three hitter Ryan Vosick. Swings the first pitch, ground ball right in between third and short. Fielded by the shortstop, throw over to first is going to be oh. in time. And that will end the ball game. I didn't think so either, but <laughs> right. umpire called him out. <laughs> Close play, that'll Close end the play. game. So Mavs get a bit outpaced early. Lose by a score of 12-2 here. Thanks, everyone, for joining us tonight. A couple days off here through the rest of spring break. Next game will be Tuesday, March 22nd at 7.30 as the Mavs host the Hutto Hippos. So tune in to join us then. Enjoy the rest of the spring break, Jason. You too, partner. All right. Thanks, Thank everyone, for, for listening. listening. Have a good evening. Good night.